and Hejdal makes the first attack. He's 29 years old, and he's a local hero. One kilometer to go, they're inside the red kite. Ryder Hejdal's doing all the work. But he's also making a name for himself around the world. Ryder Hejdal second in So who is this cycling phenomenon? The man under the helmet, the best rider in Canada. It's looking very much like Hejdal is going to catch Garcia. Well, by now, the name probably rings a bell. Ryder Hesjedal. In 2008, he was the first Canadian in 20 years to compete in the Tour de France. And a year later, he finished in the top 20. As we look to see Ryder Hesjedal coming through, he's back on terms, it's going to be the Canadian. Now, after competing all over the world, the Victoria native is about to return to the streets of the South Island. To be home and have an event like that going on is uh, really nice and it'll be a, a nice way to to gear up and head back to Europe for the rest of the year. So what is Ryder Hestadal coming back here for? Well, he'll be taking part in the Robert Cameron Law Cycling Series in Victoria at the end of the month. You may be familiar with the race in its past life as the Times Colonist Cycling Festival. Hestadal will be competing in one of the events right here on Bear Mountain Parkway. It just shows what kind of guy he is. You know, he's he's always uh, you know keeping down to his roots, and he just wants to do what he can what he can to to uh, to lend his support out at the community level, right? Um, and he knows the hard work it takes to get to where he is. Hestjedal grew up on the west shore, riding his bike to get around. He soon got serious about mountain biking, but it was road biking that quickly won his heart. He says there were plenty of professional cyclists in Victoria to look up to, and now. He's hoping he can do the same for the next generation. My riding now, the, the people are looking up to that and seeing that. So anytime I can, you know, be around and get involved and and give back and get get the next generation motivated, uh, you know, that, that's what I want to be doing. 18-year-old Craig Logan is just one young Victoria rider who is hoping to make it big. And while he looks up to cycling icons like Lance Armstrong. It's Hesjadal who is the real local hero. Well, I definitely look up to Ryder just because he uh, he's a Victoria boy himself and uh, I guess he's made it. So that's definitely something that I want to do. We all know cycling is practically a religion for a lot of people on the South Island. And when you look at a city like Victoria, it's not hard to see why this sport is huge, both among amateurs yes, the final opener. <laughs> and professionals. Taking a disconcerting look at the bottle, but he's managed to get the cork out nice and comfortably. He's done a very good job indeed, right? I hate you, and even with world-class victories under his belt, there's no doubt this rider is looking forward to competing on home soil. I think races like that bring like the wider cycling community into one place and allow locals to see what's out there and really to see that there is a culture out there and that like doing something like riders doing is possible. So what advice does Hestjadal have for the next generation? Yeah, you, know, you just got to be serious about it. You got to love it and you got to be out there and you, you got to put in the time. So if you do all those things, I mean... The, the progress it comes pretty quick. There are three days of racing at the cycling series. In addition to the Bear Mountain Hill Climb on May 28th, there's the Souk Classic Road Race and the Bastion Square Grand Prix. It all wraps up on May 30th. In Langford, I'm Nikki Iwanishan, your community news specialist. Producing over 9,000 hours of local programming every year. This is Shaw TV, your local voice.